Hello there guys, Elite Legionaria here, and today I am bringing you my first battle as an official member of the Titans clan. That's right, Elite has joined the Titans clan, um, and I feel really pleased about that. Uh, I think it's been a good move, um, and I'm really grateful to the Titans clan members for going out of the way, uh, trialing me, and accepting me into their clan because I think they are an awesome clan um, and I'm really excited to be part of it um, as, how do I put this um, I have joined the Titans clan because I feel it's the best place to continue to improve um, and get better at 31k because I know there's room for improvement with the way I play um, I will miss the Heaven clan of course because they're such a great clan um, and I've been a member with them um, since about March of 2014, so about a year and a half nearly. Um, and um, I will definitely miss them, but um, I just, they're too inactive, you know. Um, most of the time when I'd go online, I was the only Heaven Clan member around. Um, and as a result, um, I could never work with my clan, I could never improve with my clan. Um, and it just, it was just I was always on my own. Um, partially that's due to time zones because I know that Biscuits is playing. Um, but I think apart from him um, and very, very occasionally Lucius, there's no one in heaven playing anymore. It's just completely inactive. Um, and I just really want an active clan that I can work with, um, learn their styles and develop and play with. And to be honest, I've played with the Titans so much in the past now and... Um, I, I get on so well with each and every one of the um, Titans clan members and I genuinely can work in very very effectively with this style and they can work in with me so um, I essentially um, you know thought it was time to move move on and, and they have accepted me and I'm really grateful for that so this will basically be my first battle upload where I'm a Titans clan member as you can see there's my clan tags there Titans Elite it's epic it's awesome I also want to show off the new skin I um, got for the Spartans here um, this was created by Dolphy the guy who created the vegetation mod um, he's done a fantastic job um, he's managed to base it's basically the skin used in the extended Greek mod um, but he's also worked it so that they hold, uh, hold the regular Rome Total War animation for the Phalanx rather than the over-the-shoulder one they do in the extended Greek mod. And he's very clever. I have no idea how he does all this, but it's, it's fantastic. Um, and uh, visually, this is exactly what I've been looking for in my Spartans for a long time. I really don't like the base games look for them because they just look like they're, as, as Biscuits would say, the Hugh Hefner cloak. It just doesn't look right. Um, and... All the other reskin mods always give them that silly look from the 300 movies, which I just think is stupid. Um, I just don't like that look. Um, it just doesn't make sense to me. You, that's like a cheap, poor man's approach. You know, like, the, the, the lowest of society would go in those you know, in, in the sort of Greek hoplite days, would go into battle just basically with, you know, beer chested and stuff like that. And it might look badass, but at the same time, it just doesn't make sense. The Spartans were the best of the best in their society and they had the best armor so hence the bronze plate here so i'm really pleased to see the skin here uh, if you want the skin you need to download and install the aragorn skin mod then you need to install this one if anyone is interested in those things leave a little comment and i will actually make a f uh, video in the future showing you how to do so anyway um let's unpause because i know it's been paused for a while so i was teamed up with hades of the titans um and king member mgm with the Senate. Our opponents are TR from the Brotherhood Clan, Luna from HOS, and Boo Boo from IOW. Um, I also want to point out in this battle, um, I want to point out quite quite a lot recently, um, let me just pause again I think, quite a lot recently I have been playing as a Seleucid faction myself, and I noticed that Luna was using them in this battle. Now I know that Luna's a newer player, so it's understandable he'll make some mistakes, but I just want to point out uh, in this video ways in which you don't want to use the Lucid Faction. Um, again, I'm not trying to uh, put d uh, Luna down. I know Luna's a newer player, so it's understandable that um, Luna makes some mistakes. Um, but I just want to point out um, a few little things about the Seleucids in this particular battle. 
Um, anyway, my army consists of... I've got five... No, it might be six. No, it's five of these regular archers. Regular archers can be quite useful. Um, they're cheap. You can get lots of upgrades on them, and they make good uh, target bait for other units to... to for instance, these superior archer auxilia, um, the four superior archer auxilia used by Hades here, I can use these guys to uh, either distract enemy archers, or if they do focus on Hades, I can use these guys against the Seleucids, who are still very, very vulnerable even to these cheap archers. So that's why uh, sometimes it's not a bad idea just to bring the regular archers. Um, we take a look at Hades' army, he's obviously got those four archer auxilia, he's got five cavalry, um, which is unusual, actually. Um, not many people like to go with less cavalry, but uh, that's what he seems to have done here. Then he's got um, the rest of urban cohorts. And then we've got uh, MGM here. He's got, I believe, just a 14... No, he's got two archers, 12 urbans, and six Praetorian cavalry. Um, then we have over here with the Julii TR Brotherhood clan. He always brings two archers. I've almost never see him not bring archers. So that means he's got 12 urbans and I believe 6 cavalry as well. Um, we might actually have less cavalry this game. Uh, then we've got Lunar, of course, with the Seleucids. He's got two legionary co... Uh, sorry, sorry, legionary co... Silver Shield legionaries. Uh, I believe it is 12 Silver Shield pikemen and 6 cataphracts. Um... I believe that's all he's got there. Have I done that right? Yes, I believe I have. I'm just going to pause it again because the action's going to start and I don't want to miss bits. And then, of course, Boo Boo here has got... Um, he's got the uh, Macedon faction. Um, and he has got... Let's see. So he's got three... Cretan archers. Looks like he's got his typical build, I think. A general's bodyguard out there. Um, and the rest are pikes. Um... And he's got a few companions out this way as well, I think. Now, he's trying to get at the archers here. Uh, i got my guys on skirmish mode, so I don't have to keep an absolutely tight eye on them, because I know that Hades will cover them anyway. So that's what he's doing. Uh, my archers are not focusing on his archers. I'm focusing in on the pikes here. I just want to thin them out. As you can see, um, this is where Boo Boo is making another, a mistake. With Seleucid, you do not want to allow your... Not Boo Boo, sorry. Luna's making the mistake of allowing me to shoot him. As you can see, this unit is already down to 93. Now, bearing in mind, the Aragorn skin mod pack gives these um, Silver Shield Legionnaires, sorry, Silver Shield Pikemen, a much bigger shield, but it's still the same value as a base game, so you just envision these guys with a smaller shield, I guess, because that's what's going on here. Um, so, the reason, the mistake he's making here with these Seleucids is, now, I was surprised by this at the time, because I, I was waiting for Macedon to swap, or to move in, because as you know, Macedon's a great counter against the Greeks. Um, but he didn't do that. Um, he just sits it out here. And I'm, I'm pushing up, and I'm thinking, surely he's not going to actually let me uh, strike out at the Seleucids, because I will completely decimate the Seleucids in a straight-up fight. Um, but I see he actually is going to do that, so I just rush him. And I would have rushed him sooner, but I was really just that much that shocked that he was actually going to do this. Um, as is the Lucids, um, you do not want to take infantry engagements with just about anybody. You only want to use your infantry in reserve. So if I were them, the Macedonian player, Boo Boo, should be really going for me because he's the best counter to me. Um, and TR should work on focusing most likely on Hades, because Hades has got a, um, a smaller infantry count, which means a concentrated cavalry attack by the Cataphracts and the Praetorians um, runs the, and the... and the Companions, I believe, which... I'm, I'm pretty sure he's got Companions, would would pretty clear, clear out Hades' uh, infantry pretty well, because Hades has got more um, archers and cavalry than others, so... Um, as long as they can neutralize the archers, and they do have enough archers on their team to keep us occupied, for the most part. Um, but taking this kind of engagement here against my my Spartans like this is suicide. The Seleucids will not be able to win this. The Seleucids must... and uh, You need to keep your uh, infantry back with the Seleucids and use them in supporting roles. Unless there is some sort of action where you can get decisive knockout quickly through overwhelming numbers. Um, but the Seleucids do not want to take infantry engagements head-on against pretty much any faction, particularly any other pikes. The only pike faction the Seleucids can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with is Pontus. It will lose to every single other pike faction quite easily. Macedon will smash it, Carthage will smash it, and the Spartans will certainly smash them. So you do not want to take that kind of engagement. You've got to be very, very picky about your engagements with your infantry with the Seleucids because your infantry is not very good. You remember the Seleucids want to win 
via their cataphracts, um, and then just using their infantry to back up and support their allies. So Luna makes the mistake of actually allowing this engagement. As I said, I was surprised. Um, because my Spartans are just going to absolutely steamroll them. I'm just going to pull my numbers on here. Um, and now that he's taken this engagement, he should get his numbers up. Because if I get all my numbers on here, I'm just going to absolutely steamroll these guys so quickly it isn't funny. Um, all the while, he's so far forward that all my archers are also hammering his uh, pikemen. Which, as you know, are already very, very vulnerable to uh, missile fire. Um, again, even if his Cretans are... Uh, shooting my archers. Mine are relatively expendable and they'll get counter shot by Hades archers. So that's another useful little trick you can do with the uh, regular archers but um, you've got to be very careful about your engagements. Now they need to do something quickly here because the Seleucids as you can see are already starting to mouth, uh, route en masse. Um, all I said to um, MGM was here I just said just keep TR occupied, keep him busy. Um, I'll lend you a couple of Spartans because it's most likely they'll stack your cavalry on you. Now the reason they would do this is, is logical because he'll be an easier player to take out than Hades. Hades is more experienced in the MG so it is understandable that they would stack their cavalry to target probably the easiest player here. Which is smart, it's what I would do as well. Um, however they need to do something quickly because my Spartans are going to absolutely smash these Seleucids. As you can see you've already got multiple Seleucids routing already, about 5 or 6 units. And skip, they're also getting hammered by Archer Fire from me and probably from Hades too, although I think Hades might be focusing more on the Cretans because you can see they're depleted. Um, it would be wise for Mastodon to back up here, which Mastodon is doing, because Mastodon can do well against the Greeks, so, the Greeks, so if they get their numbers down correctly, a few urbans from TR and a few uh, raw pipemen from um, Boo Boo, and they probably could stabilise this, but they need to do it quickly because the Seleucids are going to get absolutely smashed uh, in, 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 in that kind of engagement. Because Hades is down less on the infantry. Remember, he's only got, I believe, he's got three, four, five, six, 10, 11, I think he's only about 11 or 12 infantry, so he's not got many infantry. So it's possible for Mastodon to hold that back. Um, and they need to get something decisive here. TR should be gr aggressive here against MGM, and they should use their cavalry to try and breach here as soon as possible. Because if they take too long, it'll be too late. The, uh, the Spartans will absolutely destroy the Seleucid lines. So they are sending more pikes in to back this up. I do apologize for the lag, it's probably just, um, well, occasionally that happens. I'm not really sure why. Other times it doesn't, other times it does. Uh, as you can see, TR is trying to support here. Um, but again, I just said to MGM, just put your guys up here and just keep TR out of my back there. I will quickly roll over the Spartans. Uh, sorry, the Seleucid uh, Silver Shields here. Uh, as you can see, Hades is, Hades is using superior maneuverability to break up the uh, Macedonian lines. Uh, Macedon can hold back this number of urbans quite well, but as, if his lines get broken up and gaps appear, then, then he will definitely lose. As you can see here, um, it looks like Boo Boo did not actually have cavalry. Um, as you can see, Hades has got behind the lines here. Now this is a good move by Hades for two reasons. Because, one, he'll either get all the archers, which he's probably going to do, or it will force these guys to send cavalry to protect the archers, in which case that will take pressure off MGM here. Um, I said to MG um, to throw a few urbans in here, just to speed this up, basically, to give me a bit of support. I don't need it against the Seleucids, but because I've got Macedon and the Julii fighting me now, I might need a little bit of support. Not desperately or anything, but... Um, I could still do with it. It's helpful anyway. As you can see over here, uh, Hades makes some nice uh, combined cavalry and infantry actions here and routes several uh, raw pikemen, at which point he's got the numbers now and the urbans will definitely defeat the raw pikemen. Um, and as you can see, MG sends his cab this way. Um, and as you can see, um, this engagement in the centre has gone as expected and the Silver Shield pikemen are absolutely just getting crushed. Over the side, as you can see, the Seleucids make a push to try and break through with their cataphracts, but I'm going to bring up my Spartan, two reserve Spartans I was going to use to back up here and get my pikes down. As you can see, there's infantry here from um, uh, MG, and they're going to absolutely just pepper these cataphracts with um, with uh, javelin fire or with peeler fire there. Um, as you can see, mass route here. I'm turning my pikes around to face the cav now. Um, it's just a massive, massive cluster of units there. And TR's not doing enough of this infantry. There's all this infantry not doing anything. As you can see, a lot of the uh, SBQI infantry is engaged, so he should do something with it. Sitting here like this is just pointless. They're not going to do anything. They cannot wait around. As you can see at this stage, um, the saluted centre has been crushed, and the supporting units have also been crushed. So I sent some Spartans and just do a 
charge here with the swords, which is quite cool really, because they've got the Copus sword there in this reskin, and as you can see that causes the Macedonian raw pikemen to simply mass rout. Get my pikes down here, Hades pushes on the front, um, and as you can see we just basically crush the centre, and now I'm just going to reorganise my Spartans and just start killing off as many of these urbans here from S um, not SR, TR. Um, as you can see we've still got tons of archers too which have just been using to fire at units mostly the silver shield pikemen because they're very vulnerable to the archer fire and enemy archer units as well um, so organizing my pikes now I'm just going to push in here uh, and deal with these guys uh, decisively um, and as you can see these guys get pretty hammered as you can see there's a bit of cab strike here from Hades gets rid of these last urbans here so we free up and just push the numbers on here and pour in on over here uh, as you can see more cavalry strikes coming in here probably probably should have didn't really notice actually that Hades was doing that but it doesn't matter because he went through my pikes but it doesn't matter because I just caught the mass route going um, and as you can see all the units start to back, basically mass route here um, so basically this battle is about understanding your factions um, the Seleucids is never going to be able to go into an infantry engagement with the Greeks unless the Greeks are already heavily depleted or you've got a lot of support from other infantry units from Rome for instance or Carthage or Macedon or something like that otherwise with the Seleucids you just don't want to take those kind of infantry engagements because it is simply unprofitable you cannot make it work um, the infantry is not strong enough the infantry the, the, they've got some versatility because they've got pikes and legions the only Hellenistic faction that has that um, and they've also got their very powerful cataphract cavalry so um, your infantry is really a secondary role which is working to support your allies or stall or cordon off or block an area while you get something decisive um, on a flank uh, taking out a Roman player for instance when you were supported by another Roman player ally and using his cataphracts to get that decisive knockout blow because you are not going to be able to win anything with your infantry unless it's Pontus um, then you've got a fe feasible chance but um, other than that it's just not really going to happen um, again, the solutions are versatile though. They've got the Testudo, which is always a useful thing to have. They've got Pele, which is useful. Then they've got Pikes. Not the best Pikes, but Silver Shield Pikemen can have their uses just because Pikes are a versatile and potentially um, dangerous unit in all scenarios. Um, as you can see, I come up with 2,200 kills, but it's not really that big a deal because you can see 1,900 here for the. Um, Seleucids, and I know that Rome and uh, Mastodon sent units, and I just basically steamrolled my way through them. They gave me the exact kind of fight the Greeks want. So, you don't want to give your opponent the fight they want. The Greeks want an infantry fight. Um, they want to push all those Spartans in, just like I did in this battle. Um, and you know it's going to enable you to basically overwhelm your opponent with the superior power of the Spartans. So you want to deny that. Um, it would have been much smarter, much better if Boo Boo had moved to intercept me because Macedon can defeat the Greeks. They can grind them down with their numbers because you remember the Spart Royal Pikemen, bigger shields, more armor, they can take it. Uh, the Silver Shields cannot and they have not got the vulnerability to missile um, damage like the Seleucids do. They're still pretty vulnerable if you get the right areas but um, they will be able to hold it out. And I was honestly expecting that to happen in this fight. I did not think Luna would honestly allow me to just attack him like that because, as you can see, he just got completely destroyed. Even when he got allied support, I had the power, the numbers. Hades did some great manoeuvring and positioning on that left flank there. Um, and he basically worked around Macedon, split it apart, broke their lines up, and when that happens, Rome will have Macedon beat every time. Um, and then TR, he, he needed to... Um, push more, they needed to attack, they needed to destroy MGM on my flank, uh, on his flank rather, on the left or our right, um, they need to use the com combination of cataphracts and uh, Praetorian Cav um, and get a breakthrough there because um, it was the only recovery they had and they took too long and it was they didn't do enough. As you can see Hades has come away with nice kills as well, MG hasn't come away with very many kills but if you look he hasn't taken many losses either, that's always something. He was there backing and supporting um, and it just enabled me to push in with a very easy one-sided fight. Uh, if we look here as you can see the Spartans, every single one of them except for this one here has got over 100 kills. Um, and even these archers, these cheap, relatively shitty archers, have gotten between the five of them, they've got about 250, uh, up to be about 250 kills, uh, between 250 and probably about 280 kills there. So um, very, very useful. Um, again, cheap, um, easy um, archers. They can have their uses if you use them right. And I managed to get some good positions for them in this battle. So a great game to everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the first run as a Titans member. I'll be playing plenty more um, with my fellow. 
new clansmen. Um, thank you once again. Big thanks to the Titans for um, you know taking the time to trial me and letting me in because I think I've already started improving and I feel a lot more confident um, playing with the Titans as my allies and I can work in with their style of play a lot easier than I can with some other people that I've worked with in the past. Um, so I'm once again big thanks there. So great game to everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you soon next time.